Hiya, yeah. we're going to uh, give a call out. We're on the uh, 705, just a bit bored, so we'll see the reflection there, but we're not worried about that. We're just going to give a call out on one Charlie and see who comes back to me using my jumbo hotspot. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for a contact on one Charlie. N3GLV. Yeah, N3GLV. N3, is it Golf Lima Victor? Yeah, good to catch you. M0FXB, Andreas. Yeah, November 3, Golf Lima Victor. ETH Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Roger, yeah, good afternoon from the UK. It's about 1.30. Southwest UK, about 100 miles west of London, using a 705 and uh, a Pi Star hotspot, MMDVM. But you're coming through loud and clear. I think you're on a 5100. Back to you. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I'm on a 5100 mobile uh, indoors with a hotspot. Yeah, Roger, I've just been playing around with my... I have a 5100, and I've just been playing around with a couple of things. I uh, tried to do a, a gateway call. So in the top half, you basically put a repeater call sign and call through and just see what would happen. And I added a normal FM analog repeater into my DV repeat, DR repeater list. Uh, so DR mode is that... Uh, yeah, it's just it's so complicated, isn't it? Back to you. Main thing is if you're going through a hot spot, you need to set it to uh, repeater and then the offset of zero megahertz uh, or it won't go out over the, uh, the D-Star network. It won't go through the hot spot. Yeah, Roger, yeah, I did learn that, learn that a while. And uh, yeah, other way, I notice if you take that repeater shift out and go into the sort of CS settings, nothing is populated in repeater one and two. So like you say, it's, it's an essential part of setting up the radio. Have you had the 5100 for long and do you have any other sort of digital ICOM radios back to you? I've had this thing about four months and uh, I have a antique uh, IC91 Alpha Delta HT that I bought from Uniper eBay, and uh, it's really old, but it works. It's uh, D Star, so yeah, you know, cost me as much for two extra batteries as the radio did almost delivered. So uh, it's an expensive. Uh, form of digital radio. Yes, Roger, I do remember it, and I had the 92 for a while. Very nice radio. It was a lot of money, and it, you had to get that expensive microphone for GPS. I'll tell you what I have got. You might have seen it on YouTube. I've managed to get myself an ICOM ID52 uh, from Japan. I imported it here. And I've been playing around with that, and it's great fun. Back to you. Oh, uh, yeah, I talked to you uh, before. Yeah. Um, yeah, the uh, 52 looks nice, but uh, can't even get 51s right now in the States. I don't know what the status is on the 52, but I'm not about to spend $600 on an HT. M0FXB returning. Yeah, I don't blame you. Because <laughs> um, the, the, um, I've got the Kenwood D74. And I do love the, the, you know, all the Icon DR stuff. I just enjoy it. Um, whether they're worth the money. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you think about the Icon 5100. Over here in the UK, you can get a second-hand one for £350. 
And as you know, it's touch screen, dual band, DR mode, GPS, Bluetooth, it's just Bluetooth module. It just, the, the functionality of it is endless. I'd never sell mine. And then they bring out a color screen model and it's almost doubling the price. So yeah, I completely understand why you wouldn't want to spend that on a HT. Well, the Icon 51 is actually really good value, isn't it, second hand? You get one of them, $250, you'll, you'll get one. And they're very good, aren't they, the 51? Back to you. You can't even find one uh, on the used market unless they're trying to get $400 for it. So mm -hmm. they're on a premium. Well, the uh, the 51 is, yeah, are you saying new it's $400? Is that what you're saying? The one, the 51 I've got is the plus two model. It's good. It's got um, terminal mode and... It will work with that app very well. MSRA1, is it? Or M1? I always get tongue twisted on on that. And um, well, it's a very nice, a smaller package as well. The 52 is quite a big radio. 51 is nice and neat in your hand. It's virtually, it's like holding a 5100 in your hand. So I better make it final. My wife's just about to go out with the dog and I thought I'd go with her. So um, we've got a new puppy here, Border Collie. She's, she's only... Four and a half months. So we're going to go off and have a little walk. But great. Thanks for coming back to my call. Really enjoyed it. And uh, talk again soon. M0FXB. Yeah, I'll come with you. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to take off the one and then she's just going to... Okay. Talk to you later. I've checked out your uh, YouTube channel a couple of times. It's pretty neat. That's very GLV. Oh, Roger. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much for that. And I chucked about four or five on there this morning. And uh, just, it's really, it's not really about the channel, it's about, I'm here doing my hobby, and I'm filming it, I, but I'm, I'm just a very prolific user of my equipment. So yeah, thank, um, very nice to catch up with you. 7-3, all the best. So, very nice guy there, good to have the contact. So, and 7-3, all the best.